Hey guys, I just want to explain a little bit of how things went down so you can get a better idea of um, how everything unfolded. So basically, uh, Mark, Dan, and I were supposed to go check out this spot. Dan's uh, Dan decided to make some homemade PVC snowshoes. Um, and they, they broke and I ended up staying back. I We were lucky I had some rope on my backpack and then we were able to tie down uh, his shoes. You know, it took us a while. The whole time, uh, Mark just kept going on and on and on. And, and then uh, he called us on the phone a couple times, but he was kind of far from us. So then Dan and I decided to keep going along. Then we saw some anomalies. Um, he actually sent me going up the hill really fast because he thought that there was that he was seeing some Bigfoot uh, or something up a tree. So I, I said, just spot me here. I'm going to go up there. I went up there with the camera. I kind of filmed some stuff. We're not really sure. I haven't even reviewed that. But uh, then Dan and I decided to, do, to stop at this one spot once I came down the hill. And uh, that's when a snowball, bigger than a softball, solid snowball, came flying between two trees and landed. Uh, and then it went right by my shoes. You're going to be able to see in the video, I tried to debunk it, I, uh, Dan also tried, I mean, we, we, we looked at all angles, we looked at all scenarios, um, just to give you a little bit of uh, an idea, the, the snow here in Colorado in the high country is powder, to make a snowball, uh, we barely get any of the wet snow to make a snowman snowball, so it's kind of hard to, um, to uh, really make a snowball. And uh, the what came rolling down that hill once it came flying, and I saw it out of the corner of my eye, and that's when I turned my face, and Dan saw it flying, uh, was a solid, solid snowball. You can see that there's a part of the video where I throw it back at the, um, I throw it back up, and it hits a tree, and it kind of, some part of it disintegrated, but not all. And uh, just to give you an idea, uh, you know, we thought about, I thought about everything. I thought about maybe, you know, maybe the snowball, uh, kind of rolled, caught a lip, and then it flew. But, you know, I, I try to make snowballs. I try to do it. Seriously, I try to think, what, how can this be possible? Physically, it is impossible. Um, there, there, I went up to that, that, the, the further spot up there just to make sure that, um, you know, there was no tracks or anything in the area where the snowball came from based on the angle, uh, everything. I thought about everything. There was nothing up there, right? Uh, towards the end of the video, you're going to see that I, I talk about, you know, whoever threw that snowball should play baseball. And I say baseball a couple times. Right after I say baseball, you're going to hear a vocal. And it sounds like, a, I don't know, like a caveman, like, like that. Um, so I never really do a voiceover or anything. Thank you guys for watching. And let me know what you think, okay? Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. By the way, bring the volume down at the beginning because I was so excited. I was kind of screaming into the microphone. And um, I hope you guys understand it's not every day you see a snowball flying out of nowhere when you're like looking out for Sasquatch and Bigfoot. So thank you again and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. So <laughs> I'm sitting here talking to Dan. Look at the marks there. Look at what just rolled past me. A snowball. We both like just, look at this. It just, it came from up the hill. What, look at the accuracy. Look, Dan. It landed right there. It, la it, it landed right there. Look, it doesn't even show any... It didn't come down the hill. Well, do you know how smooth that was? It was thrown. Yeah. So, so something just threw a snowball from up there. Landed right there is the first mark. And just went like this. That's amazing. Hey, Look at this. Mark. Huh? Yo for mark. Okay. mark. Look. Something just threw a snowball. Hey guys, that's that's incredible, man. Like, like seriously, Dan. Look, look at the mark where it first landed. Look, I'm gonna walk to where it first landed. Holy cow! They threw a snowball at us, man. This thing just landed right over here. It's the first spot it landed. It doesn't. You see no marks. It landed right there. It went boom, 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 boom. Just went right by me where Dan is right now. I wish I can throw it up there. There's no tracks further up, so I'm going to leave the camera there and try to throw it back. Look at it. A snowball. Look how tight it is. It's tight, dude. Look. Throw it back to me so I can throw it back. Oh my god. It, it doesn't even break. Oh Unless Mark threw it. 
Lord! I'm gonna throw it back up. Oh, shit. Hey guys, I'll throw another one. Ah, right, hey, you look, I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. They do this. Oh my gosh. I just got a snowball thrown at me and Dan on video. <laughs> on video, dude. You saw it. Uh, you know, uh, somebody in Sasquatch just threw a snowball at us. And it went in between these trees, right? Right in between the trees and it was aimed right at me. I was standing right there and it just went right by me. The thing is, it was at such a low pitch. <sighs> okay, seriously. If anybody can tell me how it's possible for a snowball to fly, be, fly between those two trees right there, lands right there and it just goes right by me. Like, I know for sure Mark couldn't even throw that from up there, if he was there. He's way over there, too. He's not even close. <laughs> Holy moly, man. Let's keep going. Okay, so excitement is, is come down a little bit, and we want to just talk again, talk a little bit about what just happened. So, I was standing where Dan was. Dan was standing over there. He saw the snowball coming from between those two trees right there, these, these two smaller ones right there, right? First spot it landed, he said it was like a soft pitch. It landed there, 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 and it went right by me where I picked it up and I started filming. Right by your foot. Right by my foot. I mean, the accuracy, and, and the thing is that Mark, Mark went that way, His down there. there. His trail was over there. He went way that way. He's, he, he called on the phone. He's way up there. And right here was just me and Dan, right, right from up there. And to think, you know, even if it, there was a human there, to, to, to make it in between those two trees and get it right between our legs. Without making a trap. Without making any, I mean, it's, it's just. That's insane. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I can seriously go home now. I'm done for the day. <laughs> Check it out. I'm done for the day, bud. You just got to. Uh, everybody can take a peek. Oh, look at that. So, uh, DIY people. this is, uh, you won't even find this on YouTube or, or, or on the internet. This is like pioneering snowshoes with PVC and, um, we got pretty lucky. I, rope. yeah, I had some rope in my backpack, so that's what's holding it together right now and it's doing the job. So it's kind of snowing now. We just got the snowball that's thrown amazing. at us. Yeah, no, no. I mean that, that, that's, that's for the books, man. I'm just so happy right now that they threw that snowball. Like if they would have hit me in the head, I would have been happy. Yeah. You know, but the, and it was solid too, right? That so, was solid snowball just went right between there, and it went right by us. And there's Obviously nobody on this mountain. Formed snowball. <laughs> yeah, it, I threw it back at you. I mean, it was solid. It's solid. So, okay, you, you think we're gonna have a snowball fight with them if we keep going? <laughs> if we don't look up the hill, probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just keep going. Okay. So we're trying to climb up there on this mountain just to show you that there is no, probably won't be any tracks or anything up there just to dismiss the, the idea that Mark could have done it because Mark is way, way far away. The snowball flew between those two trees down at me that I was on that pine tree down there. So I want to get up there, right around there, that's where the snowball came from. So we're on our way. Pretty snowing here now. It's pretty, pretty steep. You gotta be careful. You don't think so? Which way? Well, I, th I think once you get here, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful. Go figure how this happened, but look, I'm knee deep. You got Dan right there. This spot is missing snow. Like it was scooped up right here, right? And this is where it was where it was thrown. In between those two three trees right there. Look. In between these two. Right? Went right past those two trees and almost hit me down there. So sorry about that. The film got cut up. Film got cut up, sorry about that. What, 60 yards? 60, 70 yards from here to where that snowball went. I mean, I see some missing snow here. What? 
yeah, I went in the air from here through, the, through those trees there. I just walked up all that mess there. Then it got to where it almost hit me. And then I see structures up there. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, just for kicks, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a chunk of snow like this and go like this. Look at it. That's not a snowball. That is not a snowball and it's going all over the place. Zero accuracy. All right, I'm gonna keep going. There's Dan making his way. It's pretty steep. I fell and did like a snow angel, got everything wet. It's snowing right now here in the mountain. So we're just gonna keep heading that way. This is where the other location that the snowball could have come from. I'm way up here. And it went in between the trees down there. I can see it from here. So I'm a line here where, where I thought the snow was taken from. It's the only spot I can think of. And I'm up here. And I don't see any, any tracks other than animal tracks. Okay, so nobody's been here. These are my tracks. Okay, this is how I got in. Nobody's been in here. So how that snowball thing happened, I was even thinking, you know, how about if... Look, there's a game trail right there. I just want to go there and see what the... Snowing. It's starting to snow pretty hot. I don't want to go there and see what kind of animal. So, yeah, maybe not. So, you know, I was thinking, what, what if, you know, the, the snowball just formed, rolled down the hill, even though there's no signs of rolling down the hills. What are the, the chances of it being, you know, of it going right by my foot between me and Dan? What are the chances? I want to come check out this worn out spot right here, see what kind of animal did this. Yeah. It's kind of odd. I wonder, yeah, see, but look at the tree where I was at. There's no way a snowball could have flown from here. Nobody's walked here other than this animal. So, I don't know, whoever threw that snowball should be playing baseball. Should be playing baseball. Let me keep going. There's a slab of stone right by that pine tree. Yeah. So. I went back to the angle where it could have come from. No tracks, only animal tracks. So who knows? Let's go this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna check them out. So Dan has been hearing chattering two times. I'm standing there and Dan's like, was that you? And I'm like, no, I haven't talked. And then two times I said to Dan, Dan, was that you? And we're like, it's, you know, we're like apart from each other, but check this out right here. Probably Mark came through here. This is a game trail or something. Check this out. So, yeah, no. Probably Mark came through here, filmed here. I'll have to ask him in the video. Somebody came through here, walked right in here, right in here. Somebody came through here with snowshoes. Yeah, that's probably Mark. Which else, which way did he go? Let's see, look at this snowball here. Just gonna roll it down the hill. It's so not accurate. <laughs> Unreal. Alright. Dan said he heard some chatter over here. Turn off the camera. 